21, 2014. Deep in the middle of the heartland of the United States of America, high on top of a West Ridge. This is another episode of Burner Walk and Talk. This is your host, Matt. And we're walking and talking today, kind of reflecting. I'm not going to throw out a bunch of tips today. Today is going to be a little different talk as we walk. And we've been walking for quite some time, folks. We've been kicking up a lot of wildlife out here. We've kicked up deer, rabbit, several turkey. A couple pheasant ran across the fence line. As you view at the very far edge of your picture, there's a fence line that runs along the west portion of our property. And I've showed that in the past. We have a great farmer that lives behind us, about 1,300 acres of soy, uh, soybean fields, corn fields, and also he has some beautiful cattle that come up along our fence line. And he's a great, great farmer because he's very responsible. He always checks the fence line, as, and he knows we do as well because he loves our dogs, and he doesn't want to see our dogs getting out or getting hurt by any of his cattle. But our dogs love to chase the new calves because they were just born not too long ago. And when they're babies, it just seems like, well, my young girls can sense that and they want to play. Doesn't matter whether they're kittens or whether they're cattle, if they're babies, my young girls like to play with them. Now, as I was walking along the trail, and it really is a gorgeous day, folks, I reflected back to my childhood, circa 1970. Some of you may not have been around in that time, but those of you that were here in the United States, you can remember it. We're talking bell-bottom jeans. We're talking Happy Days on TV. We're talking the Fonzie. We're talking, oh gosh, we're also talking uh, the peace sign, hippies. All that stuff has kind of come full circle. It's amazing with my children. But what it reminded me of was a nice warm summer day, a Saturday. Now, both of my parents were school teachers, and I grew up in the city. I wasn't a country boy then. I'm a country boy now. But back then, oh, there were good days in the city, too, because you know what? All my friends were out on my neighborhood or my block, and I could hear them outside. It was a water balloon fight going on, and I, I'd say to my parents, hey, I got to go, man. All my friends are outside playing. They would always kind of, first thing they would say is, did you pick up your bedroom? Have you cleaned it up? Once your bedroom is clean, you can go outside and play. My response was always as a typical kid, yeah, sure I did. I picked it up. Well, my parents, like yours, they wouldn't bite on that the first time around, so they would say, well, why don't you go and double check it? Kind of that gentle nudge of picking up your bedroom. I would go into my bedroom and I'd pick up my toys, I'd pick up my dirty laundry and throw it in the laundry bin. I'd make my bed, I'd straighten my room as quickly as I could so I could get out there and play with my friends. And you know, it made the house presentable. My bed was ready to sleep in the next night. It was a gentle nudge. And I'd, as soon as I picked up my bedroom, I'd turn around. There were my parents standing at the doorway saying, go outside and have a good time with your friends. And walking and reflecting upon those times, and they were wonderful times. That's my tip for you today. Have you checked your burner's bedrooms lately? And I'm not just talking about their sleeping quarters. I'm talking about getting ready for the summertime weather. Have you checked the cooling mats, fans, air conditioners, whatever you use to make your four-legged furry ones comfortable? Now, we use all of the above out here on the ridge. And really, it's a good time of the year to check them with hot weather just right on top of us. June is right about there. We are almost through with May. This is a good time to double check things. Double check the dog house. If your dogs are outdoor dogs, make sure that the dog house is in good condition. So that when it rains or it storms that there's not uh, water leaking through. Sometimes we all need that gentle nudge. And so that's what today's video is about. Just providing you with a gentle nudge. I'm going to leave you with some sights and sounds of Ross and Ridge. We're in the West Timber. The sun's up as you can see. The birds are out. The cattle have all headed back to the farm. Which is well up over another ridge. So you can't see him or hear him right at this point. But this is part of the experience here on the ridge that we love. So from our house to yours, have a great day, a great week, 
and we'll see you back here on the ridge next week.